If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show. Thank you for tuning in to the Mad Rapper Show. I'm your host, the Mad Rapper. And on today's show, I'm going to be talking to you guys about racism. Now, the high school seniors at Desert Vista High School in Arizona had some nice little t-shirts made up where it said, uh, best you've ever seen, class of 2016. It was awesome. Um, and that's great. It did good. It, it, it looks funny. It's funny. It's excellent. Probably for the yearbook. Probably like a senior photo. It looks like only girls are in it. So, you know, it's dope. Um, the problem is that six of these chicks decided to pose next to each other and spell out the word nigger. Now, a lot of you guys are up in arms and mad about it. I read through the comments and... You know, it's pretty much a thing to where you say, hey, um, this is fucked up. And it's not like they live on the rock, so they know it's fucked up. And, and they're super giddy. They're super giddy. It's like a joke. It was funny. It was funny. You guys need to liven the fuck up. Like, live a little bit. Kids spelling out the word nigger on their shirts is funny as fuck. Look at their happy faces. Let's take a moment and just look at this fucking picture. Look how happy they look. By the sheer happiness and joy on their face, I know that the black kids at this school gotta be in the like, what, five percentile? It can't be no niggas in the school with them this happy about this shit. We gotta remember, we live in the internet age where you do dumb shit, you become famous. Now, what's the worst that could happen to them? They could be expelled, they may not be able to graduate, but no, that, that didn't happen. They got suspended for five days. So they went on a mini vacation. Meanwhile, probably at home giggling with their parents because think about it. Kids rebel against their parents, but uh, this is going a bit far. If your parents at home are teaching you a certain way to be, this is reaching a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you have learned from your parents equality and everybody loves everybody and you wouldn't do some shit like this. So nine times out of 10, they he hauling with their parents. <laughs> he did it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just, it's upsetting, but it's, it's comedy. It's comedy. They didn't spell it out. I don't see G's. They didn't have enough G's. So they used the, you know, the girls with the symbols on their shirts to represent the G's. So it's like edited. It's nice. I'm just, I think it's, I think it's funny. I think what even is more funny is the people in the comments saying stupid shit like it was an accident. It's like, dude, these are high school seniors. They can fucking read. You know, the only accident in this was they accidentally thought the shit was super hilarious and, and thought it was cool to do. Um, the sad part about it, like I said, is we are in the, the internet age. They Facebook's probably blew up. You know, they Instagrams probably blew up. I mean, it's just funny to them. It's funny. <laughs> I mean, who are you answering to? When you look at that picture, I don't see now a black person in that picture. So that means either they wasn't included in the little, the t-shirt thing, if there was black females at the school, or there wasn't no black females at the school. No black seniors, at least. Maybe it's a small, it looked like a pretty big school. I don't really know all the details about this. Um, I'm trying to rationalize it, but every time I think about it, it just brings me back to the fact that what's the worst that could happen? Five day suspension, man. And people are tripping out. Uh, black folks is tripping, but it's like all the black people, bring it in. Let's huddle real quick. Let me explain something to you. You might not want to hear this, but this is real talk, dude. This has been happening forever. This ain't brand new. Like this is just, every every now and again, we get a little instance where a motherfucker show us some shit. You know what I'm saying? And y'all be tripping, but dude, be happy that we seeing it. Like remember these girls' faces. Everybody in Arizona, just remember their faces. Say, like, hey, you one of those nigga girls. Remember that shit. Because every now and again, we sort of, well, I mean, black folks don't really forget, but the world sort of tries to forget racism. And every now and again, somebody will step out of the darkness and show us some shit. And it just ha so happened to be these girls in the midst of all this racial shit that's happening with like uh, the Oscars and, you know, people tripping about race. 
they decided to do this, and it's, it's hilarious to me because I don't I don't expect no less. Like this ain't no shocking thing to me. The reason why I want to make this video is just to enlighten people on life. It's like, dude, calm the fuck down. You only act a certain way that fits your surroundings. So I mean, we can't rationalize why these high school seniors decided to do this other than they wanted internet fame and ain't nearly enough black folks at their school for them to be afraid. Whether you guys agree with me or you don't, comment below and let me know. I'm the Mad Rapper and I'm out. I'm the Mad Rapper, I speak the truth, I let it flow. If you got an opinion, comment below and let me know. If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show.